Hey, hey everybody, this is Melina from scrapbookingwithme.com and me, Crafty Scrapper, here on YouTube and Instagram. Uh, today I wanted to get a bunch of my scrap, bigger scrap pieces from my big tub back behind me. Uh, it is getting out of control, so I wanted to get all of these out and figure out a way to use them up in one project and I thought what better way than to put them all in a junk journal and we're going to do a mini junk journal because some of these papers are smaller so we're not going to do a full half page or half sheet journal uh, this one is going to be five inches by seven inches so five inches wide while it's folded by seven inches tall and then some of the pages on the inside are not going to be seven inches tall and that's fine i like when my pages vary in sizes on the inside of my journal so i'm good with that first off what i'm going to do is i have this big pile of scraps i have my tim holtz ruler that has that metal edge to it and i'm going to use this ruler to tear my pages down to size so what i'm wanting is um you know somewhere close to five by seven but like this sheet right here and this is just off cut scraps this sheet is six inches tall so i'm not going to get seven inches tall out of this uh, piece of paper but it is 12 inches wide and i'm not needing all of that so what i will do Let's go ahead and fold it in half and then I'll tear it where I want it. So we need to take off about yeah, a good inch. So I'm going to put my ruler, line this up on my mat and put my ruler about here. Oop. I think I will turn it around. Let's see. That does have that metal, but that's got that flat edge on that side. So I think I will line it up that way. Okay. So I've got a little torn edge here. And I can even make it a little more messy on the edge. And um, these little pieces that I cut out. Because some of these scraps I've had or off cuts I've had for a very long time and um, what I cut off of them is going in the garbage I'm just saying I'm declaring it right here before you that these are going in the garbage now <laughs> some of them might be very good as accents um, but if I haven't used them by now, you know, so I just really, really, really need to just throw them away. Now, some of this is paper that I'm um, putting in this journal. Some of this is cardstock. I'm not scared of adding cardstock into my journals. That is so pretty. I hate to. Okay, so I lied. I'm not throwing everything away. Some, some of this is going to be thicker pages and some of it's going to be, you know, super thin paper pages. Some of it's going to be shorter than others. Some of it's going to be longer than others, taller than others. All of that looked like it was six inches, though. So, oh, that one's pretty. I'll throw that one away. Look at this paper. Beautiful little offcuts. I'm going to fold one one way and one another way so i'm just going through and doing this i want to get to a um, taller piece of scrap here in a minute and show you how i'll fix that okay so this one is taller than six inches this one is just a little over seven inches so 
what I shall do is fold this in half. Y'all can tell what this paper pad came from. One of those Tim Holtz ones. That's for sure. Um, what I want to do here, since this is over seven inches tall, so it will show over my cover. And some people are good with that. If you're good with that, don't worry about it. But I'm just going to hold my ruler and tear off a little piece up top. And then I'm going to line it up and tear some off of the edge. And I love how that tore. Look at that. Very pretty. I love that. Okay, so that's how I'm going to go through all of this. And I'm going to cut it down to size so it will fit into my 5x7 journal that we're going to make. We're going to make the cover also. But I just wanted to show you how I'm cutting up all this paper first. And um, getting it to size. But I'm going to speed this up so I don't bore you to death and get all of these cut and I will be right back. Here are all of my papers 
all cut papers cardstocks i even have a piece of vellum in there all cut now i'm going to arrange them uh, how i want them we will probably have to make two signatures for this journal with all of these but um, i want to see how it will look and yeah we'll get pac-man mouth at the end as far as when we um, assemble the journal but i'm okay with that let's get some of our taller scrap to be the outside of each signature of course i love the tim holt stuff and i like that one too so that'll be our two covers for our signatures now i'm just going to start layering up different papers throughout and opening them up and getting ready to assemble these um oh that looks good i like how that overlaps that so when you close that up you're going to see that paper on the outside of that too i like that so i'm just going to start layering up all of these and i'll get my two signatures together and I, we'll do a flip through of each one of those signatures before we start assembling the cover I will show you those signatures in just a minute, how I've got them arranged. Um, I have a piece of craft cardstock, and this is that basil that we carry in the shop. Um, so craft cardstock, I've cut it at 11 inches. I have it over just a little bit because I folded it in half, and half of 11 is five and a half. So that's where I have my middle line lined up is at five and a half. And then I'm going to score this on the five inch mark and on the six inch mark like so and I'm going to give myself a one inch spine for this lovely journal we are making so my spine is going to be like that and then signatures are going to go in and really be a Pac-Man Pac mouth, but it's going to line up kind of like so, see? And the way I come up with how wide I needed my spine is I put my signatures together, folded them up, and then I just measured how far they are. And they are a little under... Um, one inch, they're right at three quarters of an inch so with a one inch spine you've got plenty of room to get both of those signatures in that cover and then when you close it up everything is still inside the cover by about an eighth of an inch now when you start adding things to the pages of course you're going to have some stuff that is stuck out from the cover. I'm good with that. If you don't want to ever see things uh, sticking out from the edge of your cover, then you'll need to cut your papers back even more than we have here. So that's how I'm going to start my cover. I want to cover this cardstock with this cardstock so I want a good heavy duty um, cardstock base for my cover and I mean you're looking at 11 inches so really you've only got a half inch on each side to fold over when you're looking at an 11 inch long or wide um, cover but that's okay I'm good with that let's give ourselves more of a lip though on the top and the bottom so I can cut this cardstock at about there and I'm not going to be concerned with um, getting all those butterflies and stuff lined up perfectly on the other side I'm going to trim this off about right there with my trimmer look for my nail spot you know that very very technical 
measuring, way of measuring with my fingernail. And then I'm going to put glue all over the back of this and um, use one of my spatulas to um, spread it out. There we go. Quite a bit. And spreading it all out and trying to get it all spread out before it starts drying. And you could also use um, score tape if you wanted to on this. Whatever adhesive you like to use, go for it. I'm just going to do it quickly and that is art glitter glue that I have in that bottle. Spread it all the way to the edges. I haven't done a hardcover journal in a long time so I thought this would be it takes me back to my mini album making days I love make I still love making mini albums but I did mini albums a lot um, you know more like 10 years ago than I have here lately all right I think that is good I'm gonna lay that right up there flip it over and put it as much in center as I possibly can so that maybe the butterflies on the other side will be lined up well. Alright, so when you are putting yours down, of course, um, get it a little straighter than I did. I've never claimed to um, be a straight arrow as far as when I'm putting down my glued book. Okay, and then I'm going to put art glitter glue here. I mean, it is... Um, <laughs> really adhered that's for sure because I could not get this to go any straighter after I had laid it down so oh well just go with what we got okay lay that across there and then art glitter glue all the way across there and on the top flap Oh yeah, that looks good. I am not worried if that's not totally lined up because we will eventually decorate that too. So I'm going to find another piece of scrap or cut off or whatever to put down here and glue in. Let's see about this. I think, oh yeah, that'll work butterflies on the outside and birds on the inside. Well, it's got some butterflies on the inside too. Okay, this is just going to reinforce us even more. I love that. I love that coverage. So let's make ourselves a mark on where we need to trim this. Get our trimmer up here and trim this one first. See that there? And of course, keep this scrap. This is beautiful. 
think this was left over from one of our first AJ kits. Such pretty paper. Oh, look at that. How pretty. Yes, yes. Yes, yes, please. Um, I think I will ink this first before I put it down. Oh, I love that. That walnut stain is gorgeous up against it, too. So pretty. Okay. Uh, then, let's add this in here and um, get it as straight as we can and what I'm going to do on this one is I'm just going to put in my art glitter glue and then I'll run my bone folder over it to get it all smoothed out and all the way to the edge and I'm going to get it set first so I can get that as straight as possible. Hold it in place and smoosh out that glue all the way to the edges. Oh, that's pretty paper. Pretty, pretty, pretty. All right, I'm going to get my rag. Oh, it's still wanting to move around just a little bit. Go up some if it will. Okay. All the way to the edge. Beautiful. Now we have this beautiful cover. So pretty. And we need to let this completely dry before we um, close it up and I will put it up against the um, score pile again and make sure of my I can feel them in there but I'm going to make sure of my fold again I'm going to score again and then we're going to just barely push up but I am loving that cover so far so the outside there's the inside and then here are our signatures. I'll go ahead and go over those with you. After I clean up all this glue I've gotten everywhere. Okay, let's go through these. This is going to be so cute. I love just random pages throughout. And I know some of you are thinking, okay, what in the world can you do on these types of pages? I'll show you. I'll show you my idea of what I'm wanting to do anyway. So here are our signatures. I'm going to go through here. While I'm showing it to you, I'm going to go through here and make sure that um, everything's lined up right and um, like any wording is correct. And then the pages are set up like I want them and kind of centered like I want them. Look at that little skinny page up against the larger longer page cute and I have some more of that paper just like the cover I got some old coffee dyed paper and then most of all of this is um, cardstock so I got that how I want it I'm going to get two big paper clips for this one, two big paper clips for the other one, and I'm going to hold these together like I want them. No more going through them, they'll all be set together there. All right, let's go through this one. I think each signature has like 21 pages. So, um, you know, that means there's, what, um, 10, 
10 or 11 sheets in each one. So, yeah, they, they've got 20 or 22 pages, something like that. Anyway, this is the other one. I love that paper. That's a die cut, I mean, a um, digital sheet, and that wording is upside down, so we're going to flip it over. That's a um, good reason to go through your signatures and make sure before you set them. Pretty. Okay, that wording is correct. That one is. That's some pretty paper. Soon you've got a whole white sheet on that side, but then you open it up. That is pretty. I like that. There. That one. And then that's some drawing paper. There's that piece of vellum we cut earlier. It needs to come down just a little bit. There we go. And then, isn't that pretty? That is a pretty almost center of a signature. And then there. And then that little Tim Holtz in the middle of that. Look at the middle of that signature. Already pretty. Doesn't have to have anything else added to it if we don't want to. Okay, I'm going to push down this Tim Holtz piece here. Try to get that a little more center. Okay, that's good. And I am okay with that being a little taller than our cover of our signature. Cute. Yep, I'd rather it be a little taller on top than on the bottom. So let's scooch that up. That's good. And then the paper clips are jumbo paper clips. And I got these off. Um, no, I was gifted these. You can get them off of Amazon. I found them and do believe I have them linked in my Amazon storefront. So there's both of the signatures put together and um, ready to sew in to our cover once it is dry. So I've got my cover on here. I have went ahead and made my um, score line again on the five inch mark and then on the six inch mark so that I know where to fold this up while it's still here. I'm going to get my marker and my ruler and I'm going to go ahead and make my little marks for um, sewing in both of the signatures. I want to get uh, them on the five and three eighths mark just right along this line. I want to get them in there and then I want to get uh, the second one in on the let's see one two three four five yeah five eighths yep the five and three eighths and the five and five eighths so I'm going to go let's see one two three half of seven is about three and a half I'm going to go here for my center of my first signature <clears throat> excuse me and then here for the center of my second signature and then I'm going to go up um, let's see let's go about an inch from top for our top Hole, and then about an inch from bottom there and then we'll go back over to the three-eighths and make bottom and then top so there's our spots to sew in our signatures since so we've got two and then I'm going to let's put our score pal down I'm going to get my ruler my little t-square and I'm going to try my best to fold this over without cracking anything 
if we've got that ruler to keep tension there we go now you're going to get a little bit of warping it shouldn't be too much but you will get a little bit of warping on your paper just because it is paper and you have used liquid glue to put it down fold that over there okay and I'm okay with not having a crisp line there um, if you want a more crisp line you'll need to score on this side and um, you know lean back pull back just so that you've got enough tension there we go that's pretty but I like that that it's not um, define too much. I kind of like the um, bowed spine like that. So I am good with that. Then we need to line up our signatures to sew in here. And let's see, I think I'm going to make these holes first anything to make it easier on myself so let's go ahead and bore that hole and that one and then go to our middles I think I need to do that one one more time and bore those and then bottom Okay. Um, someone was asking what this was. This is an all uh, AWL. Um, we have the wooden handled ones in our shop. This is just an old, old, old one that I got from, um, I believe this is a Stamp It Up one. Yep. And it is not comfortable at all. It does not have a, hand, a nice handle on it. This is just metal. So, it's nothing um, extraordinary. <laughs> I like the alls that we carry in our shop at Scrapbook and we make a whole lot better than these. Okay. Then, when your signature is smaller than your cover, this is a um, tricky part for me anyway. <clears throat> so, I have to figure out how I want to line these up. Okay, and then I'm just going to go through and make all the rest of my holes to line up with my cover and go all the way through and then line up the others. In all my years of signature sewing, I just haven't found an easier way to do this when you have more than one signature. So, I guess I need to watch some more YouTube videos, huh? Alright, there's my three holes for my first signature. Let's do the same thing for this second signature. So I want this signature to be my front signature. So that is the front. And here are my front holes here. And I'm going to put my needle through from inside out. And then I'm going to leave myself about as tall as 
the page just a little bit longer probably so it just barely sticks out some okay then I'm going through that middle hole of the cover then all the way through <clears throat> excuse me okay then I'm going to fold the cover up and I'm going to go in this bottom hole and then hopefully that will line up and go through my signature too but I don't feel it so with two signatures you just have to kind of line it up as best you can there we go and it went straight through that's always a great 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 sign all your papers are lined up like you need them usually when that happens so then pull straight through then go all the way up to your top hole here and then through that top that's always a good sign it went straight through that top hole there Oh, bookmaking. I love it. Love bookmaking. Then I'm going to go back through that middle there. And I'm going to push the needle through. And then, while it's all tethered like that, I'm going to squish my signature and then push that through. And hopefully I see the <laughs> I see the needle head on the other side and I do and then I'm going to pull that through it's got a lot to come through so it's going to be hard to yank through that's for sure okay then we're pulling and Tugging and pulling and tugging and pulling and tugging and making sure that everything is lined up correctly. There we go. We've got our line on our cover. It's all in the same row. It's not over here in this row. So we're good with that. It is the front of our journal and that is going to be that's up the right way good 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 and then I'm going to fill these and they could be pulled just a little bit more but remember you're pulling on paper so don't make it too rough when you're doing your pulls but I like to pull this way and then yank it that way and pull 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 again then I'm going to make myself a double knot and I'm going to squish that with my bone folder and I'm just going to leave that string as is for the moment. Um, I can take my giant paper clips off of it though. So there's our first signature put in. Oh yeah, it's good and tight. I like that. I like how that feels. All right, now let's put in our second signature. And we're going to line it up, making sure that everything is the way it should be. You're looking at wording correctly, and this is the top. Yay, yay, yay. All that's good. So let's string this wax thread. And if you are looking for um, journal assembly um, supplies, we have all of that in the shop. We carry awls, we carry the wax thread, we carry the uh, blunt needles, those packs. We even have a pack that has a magnet in it so you can uh, keep up with your needles even easier. I had a knot in my wax thread 
Okay, so for this signature, I'm going to go through, um, made a boo-boo and made um, my center, my center was off, so I had to um, do that twice, but other than that, everything looks like it's going to line up right. You're going and making sure that everything's laying flat and hoping, hoping, hoping you're through everything. Going through the middle and lining up my string. And then I'm going to go through this middle hole here of the cover. And then bring my signature to it, my second signature. Pull that. There we go. Okay. Then I'm going to close this up. I'm going to go through that bottom. And then line it up with the bottom hole that we put in our signature. And look, it goes straight through. So that's always a good thing. Pull that through. And then go all the way to the top. Go through our signature of papers. There we go. And then pull that needle through. Then go through our top hole of our cover. Then pull the signature tight. And make sure that we've got our other end here. Yes, we do. Oh, yay. This is just like, I just love this feeling of accomplishment like this is coming together just like I wanted it to I just love that feeling okay then I'm going to pull back the signature as it's tethered like that pull my needle all the way through the middle and then go through the middle hole of that signature And I'm getting some resistance, so I'm hoping that I'm going to see that needle head. Nope, I'm not seeing the needle head. So, like I said, I had some resistance. So, let's push all that together again and try it one more time. Okay, no resistance that time, and look at there. We are through. Okay, I'm going to pull it off to the one side. Pull that needle the rest of the way through. Then I'm going to pull the signature tight and hope that everything looks good and lined up. <laughs> okay, look on the outside first. We are lined up and that looks nice. Very pretty. Okay, and then as far as the bottoms of the signatures, that looks nice. The tops of the signatures, look at that. I love it when plan comes together. I just love that, y'all. Okay, I'm going to take off my needle. I'm going to pull tight, pull tight, pull tight. And I'm going to tie myself a double knot. And I'm going to squish it down with my bone folder. Leave those strings for the moment. Take off my jumbo paper clips. And then I'm going to fold this little bad boy up. And look at my accomplishment. <laughs> oh, I love that. Okay, so our edges meet. That's always a thing that... Um, I tend to get wrong, <laughs> but this time our edges meet. It is good and square. Look at that. Oh, I love it. I love it, y'all. Okay, and yes, we've got big time Pac-Man mouth, but we can get whatever we would like. Some string, we can get uh, some lace, whatever. 
to close it up or we can make a closure of some kind if we want to. So let's go through. Okay, so our cover and we got that good snap of a hardcover journal that you want to hear. Look at these pages in this journal. And when you're working in the journal, you can, you know, manipulate a little bit better and push the pages down if you need to. But I'm loving this. I'm going to move this rag so you won't have to stare at that while you're staring at me. <laughs> Flipping through. Oh, I love this. Y'all. So cute. Okay, there's the middle of our first uh, signature. And then the back side of all of those pages. Too cute. Those two pages together. That's some pretty, pretty layout of pages, I'm telling you. Very cute. And like this red, I'm, I mean, I like that design, but I would totally put some coffee dyed paper or um, some kind of coffee paper over the top of that and let that just be the mat and then have paper on the middle of it so that you could journal on or add a picture or memorabilia or a pocket, whatever you would like to add into it. Okay, there's our first signature. Now we got a nice little... Um, middle of our spine there in between the two signatures and then here's our next one. Oh, this is so pretty I love that I know that is some loud paper but I love that that's some leftover from a coco daisy kit I love that too pretty okay then we got that one piece of B paper that I had in my scrap, bigger scrap pile. I love that. Too cute. And then this one I put in backwards so you've got the white on this side and then you open it up and you've got that on the other side. I love that. That green watercolor paper. Too pretty. That's more uh, Coco Daisy stuff, but like this side, I love the houndstooth pattern. I just not crazy about that green color, so I would definitely cover that up too with some uh, coffee dyed paper. There's that vellum, and then we get to the center. <clears throat> excuse me, of this signature. I love that how that's laid out. That's so cute. That is some darling paper right there. That is the last piece of that that I had left and I'm so glad I got it put in a journal. Too cute. And then the back sides of all of those papers that we just went through. That B paper right there. I love it. Now this is a true junk journal. Everything does not match and I love that. Oh, I've even got a little bin to that paper that I could do some kind of little flip out right there, I bet you. Cute. But all of the papers do not match, and uh, it is kind of just willy-nilly put through there, and that is the sign of a true, true junk journal. So we've got room to put a nice pocket here, a nice pocket on the front, We've still got to decorate this. I think what I'm going to do is tie bows on the inside of these. I'm going to clip that off, go to the next center because I like how they're laid out, so I'm not going to be taking anything apart. The next center, I'm going to tie a bow, and I think. I'm going to let these hang out. So just trim it at about there. I love that center of that signature. That is too pretty. Look at that, y'all. I'm so happy. 
this came together so well it is nice and heavy it is one thick chunky monkey already without anything being done to it but i am going to show y'all um, a few things that i would do inside this journal so let's get back to that page that hound's tooth page see there that I said that I would definitely cover up. So I would get my ruler and let's see, I would tear it about here and then about here. See how easy, easily <laughs> that uh, cuts out. And then if you want to ink the edges of your paper. And then I'll use double-sided tape to tape this in. And this is the Scotch Advanced Tape Glider, and I have this linked in my Amazon storefront. Okay, you just have to be easy with double-sided tape on the back of copy paper, or this is notebook paper, actually. Because if um, it picks it up, it will rip it. That is just cute. Okay, and then just line it up and have yourself a little mat with that. See, now I don't mind that paper once I've got it good and covered up <laughs> with that. And then you could make yourself a little border of some type or a tuck. Oh, that's pretty. Let's go ahead and ink the edges of that. It looks like it's right at the correct size too and we've got a torn edge on this side and i'm going to get some generic score tape this is some tape that i've had for a while that i want to use up so let's make i'm going to push this up a little tuck spot on this page and we can journal on the page too if we want to or um, put a die cut on the page and then put our journaling on a separate page and tuck it into this tuck space we're making let's make sure that that oh yeah that is like almost perfection I'm going to leave just a little bit of the green showing on the edge there and then roll this over it make sure all that's stuck down nice and then you've got that little tuck there and then you've got space to write in there too pretty I love that and then if you had a little piece of whatever here and you wrote on it then you could tuck it into that space there like that so instant little tuck out of some scrap that I did save from cutting down these pages um, like on here if you wanted to add a doily. Oh, I love that. If you wanted to add a doily, that goes right along with that over there. Not that you have to match in a junk journal, but that is very pretty. That's pretty too, but I do like it like that. I'm just going to leave it tucked in there. I'll do something with it later, but that is what I plan on doing in this journal and I will be showing this journal uh, from time to time 
on my channel and um, I'll have a total separate playlist just for this journal so that you can go and see my progress and what I've done in it. Um, I do believe the next video that I do on this will be uh, decorating it and what I'm going to use to keep it closed um, in between working on it and journaling in it. But I will show this. This will be, let's see, we got to give this a name so I can name the playlist. How about Double Signature Paper Scrap Journal? That is what I'm going to name it. Double Signature Paper Scrap Journal. So that's going to be the playlist for this one. And um, I will um, try to link it below. After the video loads, I'll try to link the playlist, which this will be the very first um, video on the playlist, but I will try to link that playlist below, and then every time I use this journal in a video, I will link the playlist, so you can go back and watch any of that, but anyway, I love this, double signature scrap paper journal, and it is definitely a junk journal, because it's got all kinds of paper scraps in it that I have had in my stash for at least 10 years. Some of these are 10 years old, y'all. I love, love, love this. Thank y'all for uh, stopping by. Thank you for watching all the way through. That helps me so much. If you just let it run, uh, it helps me with the YouTube algorithms when you watch till the end also. So I appreciate that. And I'll have you a few little random still shots at the end so you can see this little chunky monkey up close and personal. Y'all have a great day. God bless. I will see you in the next video <laughs> from uh, little Pac-Man and I. God bless. Bye y'all. <laughs>